Good evening and welcome to Staff Gymnasium on the campus of Brockton High School in the City of Champions for the PCA Sports presentation of Brockton Lady Boxers Basketball. Tonight the Boxers with a record of 1-7 and seven welcome in the 8-2 and two New Bedford Whalers in a big three divisional matchup. This marks the Brockton Boxers second consecutive big three matchup of the season. Friday night they lost to Durfee to begin their big three schedule. On the flip side for the New Bedford Whalers, this will be their opening matchup in divisional play. A bit of a struggle for the Lady Boxers thus far this season, as you can see indicated by their 1-7 and seven record, but they can significantly turn the tide of this season with a victory over the divisional foes in the New Bedford Whalers tonight. Let's take a look at the starting five for both of these teams. For New Bedford, jumping will be number 22, Caitlin Peters. Also in number 23, Vanessa Suarez. Number 3, Brianna Perry. As well as number 5, Catherine Goulot. And at number one, Alexia Barrows for the Lady Boxers who win the tip. Carissa Pagan, number 10, who has the ball right now. Number 11, Chanel Melton. Number 12, Sharon Springsteed. Number 23, Chantel Jordan. And winning the tip for Brockton to begin the game was number 33, Christian McDuffie. Four eight-minute quarters being played here in Massachusetts High School women's basketball. New Bedford coming up the floor with the ball. It's Barrows. Barrows gets it over to Grot. Over to Barrows from the top of the key, shoots a three and connects. So New Bedford draws first blood, and they're playing tight defense, and it's a full-court press, and that is going to result in New Bedford committing their first personal foul of the game. It is called on Catherine Goulart. It's Catherine Guillot. Melton trying to answer back with a three for Brockton. No good rebounded by the B New Bedford Lady Whalers. Barrows for three again. No good rebounded by Brockton. This time it's Melton coming down with it. Ten seconds on the shot clock for the Lady Boxers. Chantel Jordan is going to be fouled by Giot. That will be Giot's second personal foul of the game as we are just under a minute 30 in the game. And with that, New Bedford head coach Mickey Gonsalves is going to elect to take Giot out of the game and put Alexa DeBrose in. 6.53 remaining in the opening quarter. Brockton with the ball. New Bedford coming down with the rebound. Alexia Barrows bringing the ball up the floor for the Whalers. Gets it over to DeBrose. Back over to Barrows. Cross court pass and New Bedford hitting the three. Vanessa Suarez. New Bedford leads six to nothing. So two three-pointers by New Bedford here in the first quarter. Make it a 6-0 game in favor of the Whalers. They have the ball once again. And another three-pointer by New Bedford, Alexia Barrows. So three three-pointers by New Bedford, two minutes into the game. Whalers up 9 to nothing, And head coach for Brockton, April Dingwell, elects to call a timeout. 9 to nothing is your score. New Bedford on top. Head coach April Dingwell in her first year as Brockton Lady Boxers head coach. 
in official capacity. She, of course, was the Brockton Lady Boxers interim head coach a few years back when then head coach Eric DiBiase was out with a leg injury. Little discrepancy with the scoreboard as three seconds ticked away in the clock when no one had touched the ball, so the official asked that they put six minutes back on the clock. New Bedford with the ball. And with the rebound laying it up and in for the Whalers is Brianna Perry, 11 to nothing. Whalers out to an excellent start in this big three divisional matchup. Brockton heading to the free throw line. Foul called on Brianna Perry down low. That is three team fouls on New Bedford in this game so far. And Christian McDuffie hits her first of two at the free throw line. So McDuffie goes two for two. 11 to 2 is your score. New Bedford is on top. Nine point deficit for Brockton to overcome. Alexia Barrows with the ball for the Whalers. Still in the opening quarter of this game. And Brockton almost comes up with the ball. Three point attempt by New Bedford. No good. Brockton will rebound. It's Chanel Melton. 5.23 on the clock. Brockton with the ball. Melton inside the paint. Alexa put it up on her own. No good. That is going to be. Out of bounds off New Bedford as number 23 for the Whalers, Vanessa Suarez, stepped on the line in an attempt to keep the ball in bounds. Brockton will take it out from the end line. So Krista Pagan call for the foul for Brockton. Perry's basket is good. She'll go to the line looking to make a three-point play out of this. That is Brockton's first personal foul of the game. Four minutes and 58 seconds remaining in the opening quarter. Chanel Melton, or excuse me, Chantel Jordan on the inside for Brockton. 10 point game, 14 to 4, Whalers on top. Nice block by McDuffie, comes up with the steal over to Jordan. Jordan almost loses the ball, gets it over to Carissa Pagan. Pagan off the glass and in. And timeout going to be called by head coach Mickey Gonzalez for the New Bedford Whalers. Four minutes and 19 seconds remaining in the opening quarter. 14 to 6 is your score. New Bedford is on top. Once again, you're watching Brockton Community Access Sports. Peter Zimbor courtside calling the action. Some new faces down the scorer's table tonight here at... Staff Gymnasium, Robert O'Neill, assistant head coach for the football team, handling the scoreboard duties tonight. 
Always a pleasure to see him. Dominique Cole with some fine defensive play for Brockton. Ultimately, New Bedford is able to regroup, and it is number 22. Caitlin Peters putting in for two. 16 6, 10 point lead. Whalers on top. And going to the hole for Brockton. I believe that was Coley. Eight point game, 16 to eight is your score. Inside the perimeter, New Bedford with the short jumper, no good. Chris Pagan comes down with the ball for Brockton. Chanel Melton with the ball handling duties, looking for help inside to McDuffie. McDuffie puts it up off the glass, no good. Fights for the rebound, no good. New Bedford comes down with the rebound, it's Alexia Barros. Three-point jumper by Alexis DeBros for New Bedford, making it a 19-8 game. And Mickey Gonzalez, I thought, yelled timeout. And the ref called for timeout, and he says, I did not call timeout. I don't know what he yelled. He did yell timeout, didn't he? Apparently said, find him. I had to check in with the assistant coaching staff in New Bedford. 19-8, your school whalers on top. Chantel Jordan, short jumper, no good. Traveling called on New Bedford, turns the ball over to Brockton. The play for New Bedford got called for traveling. I've never seen this. She made the traveling signal almost immediately after she traveled. Checking in the game for Brockton for the first time is number 30, Aliyah Brito. We're also seeing number 24, Alyssa Kellick, into the game for the first time tonight for New Bedford. McDuffie with the basketball for Brockton, gets it over to Melton, Melton inside the paint, a little bit of a hook shot, connects. 19-10, you score nine point edge for the Whalers. 2.22 left to go in the opening quarter. Barrows with the ball for New Bedford. Dishes it out to Kellick. Kellick inside to number three, Brianna Berry. Loses it to Christian McDuffie for Brockton. So turnover, Brockton with an opportunity here. Over to Chanel Melton inside the perimeter. Short jumper off the back of the rim, no good. Carissa Pagan with the rebound inside the paint. She loses the basketball. New Bedford comes up with it. It's Alexia Barrows. Barrows off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Brockton. Melton coming down with it. Sharon Springsteed checking in momentarily. She's the scorer's table looking to get back into the action. Chantel Jordan. Over to McDuffie. And she'll shoot the three. Center shooting the three. No good. Rebounded by Barrows for the Whalers. And one minute, 38 seconds left to go in the first quarter. DeBross tries to lay it up. No good. Ball ultimately goes out of bounds off of her. And it should be Brockton Ball. Sharon Springsteed into the game as Carissa Pagan takes a breather for the Lady Boxers. One minute, 33 seconds left to go in the opening quarter. New Bedford 19, Brockton 10. And it will actually be off Brockton, so no Bedford inbounds the ball. And off the glass and in for New Bedford, that's Vanessa Suarez. Five points in the evening for Suarez, 11 point lead for her team. 21 to 10, a buck 20 to go in the opening quarter. Chanel Melton with the ball for Brockton. Over to McDuffie. Yeah. 
Sharon Springsteed looking for help. Gets it inside the Brito. One bounce, up and in. Twenty-one twelve. You score less than a minute to go in the first quarter. Nice block by Jordan. Ball goes out of bounds. Jordan deflects it. It hits number twenty-four for New Bedford, Alyssa Kellick. So it goes off of Kellick and out of bounds. Brock with the ball. Chantel Jordan with a jumper, no good. And miscommunication by New Bedford results in an opportunity for Brockton. Chanel Melton lays it up and in. 21-14 football score, seven point edge for New Bedford with 13 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Alexis DeBrose gets it over to Kellick. No good, rebounded by Springsteed for Brockton. Three seconds on the clock to Springsteed. No it, one second, shoots, no good. First quarter comes to a conclusion, and New Bedford with the lead, 21 to 14. Excellent opening quarter for New Bedford, however, what once was an incredibly dismal quarter for Brockton has significantly improved for them in the tail end of the opening frame. 21 to 14, your score, New Bedford on top as we'll be entering the second quarter momentarily. Once again, you're watching Brockton Community Access Sports. Peter Zimbor here courtside. The Brockton Lady Boxers taking on the New Bedford Whalers. Brockton entering this game with a record of one win and seven losses. New Bedford, eight wins and two losses. This Brockton's second big three game of the season. They're 0-1 in big three divisional play as they lost to Durfee in Fall River at Turfey on Friday night. For New Bedford, this is their first big three game of the season. Brockton is going to have quite a bit of a break between this game and their next game. They will not play again until 13 days from now on January the 30th when they host Franklin. So Brockton will have plenty of time to gather themselves after tonight's game, but they still have this game to get through as the second quarter will begin with New Bedford inbounding the basketball. Good job, girls. Again. Six seconds left in the shot clock for New Bedford, and Suarez is able to get a layup off. So 23-14, New Bedford on top. 7-19 left to go in the opening half. Brockton is going to get called for a five-second violation as they could not inbound the ball in time. That has got to be frustrating for the Lady Boxers and frustrating for head coach April Dingwell. Three-pointer by Alexia Barros gives New Bed for the 12-point edge, 26-14. Nine points in the evening for Barros, and she is three for three shooting three-pointers, having a fantastic game to point guard for the Whalers 
Alexia Barros. Another three-point attempt by New Bedford, no good. So foul called on New Bedford's number 24, Alyssa Kellick. And this allows Jordan to head to the free throw line. She misses her first of it will be two as Brockton trails by 12 points. Catherine Lewis checking into the game momentarily for Brockton. And Jordan hits her second of two. Lewis will check into the game. And with that, we'll see McDuffie taking a breather. 26-15 your score. New Bedford is on top. Five minutes and 33 seconds remaining in the opening half. Wide open for the layup is Kellick for New Bedford. Misses the layup, spring seed with the ball for Brockton as Brockton coming back down the floor with it now and gets it over to Chanel Melton. Melton to Chantel Jordan, Jordan to Melton. Jordan will shoot the three and connects. 26-18 your score, Brockton makes the deficit. Eight points. Four minutes and 26 seconds left to go in the first half. And Coley is going to get called for the personal foul inside the paint for Brockton as she makes contact with number 23, Vanessa Suarez. She'll be heading to the line where she'll be shooting two. Suarez with seven points on the evening, has a three-pointer from early on in the first corner, so is a... Good player shooting the basketball, and that's evidence as she makes her first free throw shot. Coley takes a breather. Coley with two personal fouls on her tonight. Three team fouls for Brockton, five for New Bedford, and McDuffie comes back in to replace her, and McDuffie is the one who ends up with the rebound for Brockton. Play 
Sharon Springsteed for three for Brockton. And that will not count as the ball technically goes out of bounds, hitting the top of the backboard. And McDuffie takes a spill inside the paint, driving to the hole for Brockton. And we're going to have a personal foul called on New Bedford's Vanessa Suarez. And with two minutes and 39 seconds left to go in the half, that is the sixth team foul committed by New Bedford tonight, first by Suarez. So New Bedford commits one more foul. Brockton will be getting free throw opportunities for the remainder of the half as they'll be in the bonus. Nice block by Christian McDuffie. Good job, guys. Good job. Foul going to be called on Brockton down low, however. It's going to be on number 44, Catherine Lewis, and we're going to see number 22 for New Bedford head to the free throw line, Caitlin Peters. Peters misses her first of two. Jennifer Caruso, the freshman, checking into the game as Chantel Jordan takes a breather. And as Jennifer Caruso makes her way into the game, some fanfare in attendance tonight at Staff Gymnasium. Not often you see a freshman player competing at the varsity level. McDuffie lays it in for Brockton. Four-point game suddenly, 27-23. Brockton crawling their way back into this. Two minutes to go, just over two minutes to go here in the first half. Alexia Barros out to Suarez, and she loses it. Brockton trying to make it closer. Pagan with the ball. Over to McDuffie. She'll shoot the three. No good. And that'll be New Bedford ball. We're going to see Aliyah Brito... Check into the game for Brockton as Catherine Lewis steps aside for a breather. 147 on the clock, four-point game, 27 to 23. New Bedford has led by as much as 12 points during this game, and that deficit has been cut to four. Pagan off the glass and in for Brockton. Two-point game, 27-25. Alexia Barros with the ball. Brockton with a surge of momentum here towards the tail end of the first half. Good job. 
DeBrose lays it up and in for New Bedford. Extending their lead back to four points, 29-25. Tight defense being played by the Lady Whalers. Catherine, or Chris Pagan with the ball. And we get called, we have a foul called to number one, Alexia Barros for New Bedford. Seventh team foul for New Bedford and one and one situation arises as Carissa Pagan heads to the free throw line. If she makes one, she will get another opportunity to shoot a free throw. And she makes her first, so she will get another. Chantel Jordan into the game as Jennifer Crusoe takes a breather. Pagan ready to shoot her second of two free throws. Five points on the evening for Carissa Pagan. And they're going to say that that shot null and void, even though it goes in the basket. They say Pagan stepped over the line. So 29 to 26 is your score. Three point lead by New Bedford. A buck 10 left to go in the first half. Jumper made by Chantel Jordan. And that makes it a one point game. That was inside the perimeter. 29 28, you score New Bedford on top. Nice defensive play by Brockton. Brock with the ball, an opportunity to take the lead for the first time in this game and head into halftime with the lead. Pagan with the ball, eight seconds on the clock. Over to Melton. Melton puts it up. No good, four seconds on the clock. New Bedford with the ball, one second. Barrow's just going to throw it up and nails it. Nails it. Alexia Barrows with a football pass and nails it. Even the Brockton crowd is going crazy. That was impressive. She tossed it up. Nonchalantly and made it. And now she's walking off like a hero. I love this girl's attitude. First half comes to a conclusion. 32 to 28 is your score. New Bedford on top, what a entertaining first half of basketball it has been. New Bedford has been in control from the get-go, but Brockton still in this one as we will be entering the second half of play in just a mere moment. You're watching Brockton Community Access Sports. We'll step aside for a quick breather. Back with more action after this. And we're back here on BCA Sports at Staff Gymnasium where New Bedford leads Brockton 32-28 to as we enter the second half of play in this big three divisional matchup as Chantel Jordan inbounds the ball for Brockton, but it is picked off by New Bedford. That was number three, Brianna Perry, laying it up and in 34-28. Now your score, New Bedford Whalers on top. Despite the Whalers being on top and having had the lead this entire game, as we have a little discrepancy with the game clock and the shot clock, despite New Bedford having the lead in this game and having had the lead throughout, significant Significant positivity coming from the Lady Boxers during halftime. I overheard several members of the Lady Boxers saying, we got this, we got this. Remember, they were down by as much as 12 points at one point and got within four right before the half and had a surge of momentum late in the first half. So Brockton looking to defeat New Bedford and even out their big three Divisional record at one and one with the victory here today, but they are down by six at the moment with 7.46 left to go here in the third quarter. And they're gonna say that Chantel Jordan stepped inbounds while inbounding the ball, and that will turn the ball over to the New Bedford Whalers. Giot will inbound for New Bedford into Alexia Barrows. Barrows hit that three-pointer at the tail end of the first half where she tossed it up like a football from about three quarters down the floor, made it swish, then walked off the court nonchalantly as if she does that every day, all in a day's work. I was talking to assistant coach for New Bedford, Carrie McNamara, during halftime. She says she practiced that every day. 
And then I think she facetiously said that she also practices walking off nonchalantly every day like that. Nearly a shot clock violation by New Bedford. They are able to get a shot clock back, the ball back. And traveling called on Caitlin Peters for New Bedford. Turns the ball over to Brockton. 7.09 left to go in the third quarter. But Alexia Barrows to 12 points today. And she is four for four shooting three-point shots. Including one that the likelihood of it actually going in would seem slim. Foul called on New Bedford for the first personal foul of the second half. This one called on Catherine Giot, and this is going to allow Chantel Jordan to head to the free throw line. She is one for two shooting free throws tonight. She's Brockton's leading scorer with eight points through the first half of play. We'll see if she can extend upon that here in the second half, and she does as she makes her first free throw shot. 6.55 to go in the quarter. 34 to 29, New Bedford is on top. And Jordan, two for two at the free throw line. Four point game once again, 34-30. Whalers with the lead. An ill-advised pass by Barrows over the head of the intended recipient, Brianna Perry. Brockton will have possession of the ball as it goes out of bounds off New Bedford. And foul called on Brockton. And that was called on number 12 for the Lady Boxers, Shannon, or Sharon Springsteen. And jump ball is going to be called down low. Chantel Jordan with the ball for Brockton, goes to lay it in, no good Springsteed with the rebound for Brockton. We're gonna have a jump ball called actually, it appears. Or no jump ball call, what will the call be? I thought it was gonna be a jump ball. Lisa Kellick checking the game for New Bedford as Caitlin Peters takes a breather. Brockton will inbound from the end line. It's Chanel Melton putting the ball into play. She's got to get it out quick. Gets it into Springsteed. There was a five-second violation called on Brockton earlier in this game. Seven seconds on the shot clock. This is out to Melton. Make that four seconds. Think you could argue for a travel. Puts it up off the rim. And New Bedford with the rebound. Melton with the ball as she gets the rebound after the missed layup by the Whalers. 5.24 left to go in the third quarter. 34 to 30, your score. New Bedford is on top. Chanel Melton over to McDuffie. So a foul is called on New Bedford. That will be on Alyssa Kellick. 
She gets called for the push. Four minutes and 55 seconds left to go in the second quarter, and the New Bedford bench calls a timeout. So 34 to 30, your score. Brockton trailing by four. 4.55 left to go in the third quarter. Head coach for the Brockton Lady Boxers, April Dingwell, talking things over with her troops on the sidelines, along with her assistants, David Ray and Stephanie Savas. McDuffie with the turnarounds. And two point game, 34 32. 450 left to go in the third quarter. Head coach Mickey Gonzalez for New Bedford yelling at his players, play some defense. He's not happy with the way things are going right now. His team once had a commanding lead. Looks like we're going to have a foul call down low on Christian McDuffie. This is going to allow New Bedford to head to the free throw line, and it'll be Suarez shooting free throws for the Whalers. Two team fouls apiece here in the second half for Brockton and New Bedford, respectively. 420 left to go in the third quarter. And Suarez makes her first of two. And she'll miss her second of two, three point game. For New Bedford, Brockton trails by three. One possession game, Brockton get a three-pointer and tie this up. Melton with the ball over to McDuffie. McDuffie slowing down the pace just a tad. And she nearly loses the basketball, and she does lose the basketball. It goes out of bounds off of New Bedford, and it will be Brockton ball. And laying it in for Brockton, Christian McDuffie. Brockton now within one. They keep inching closer and closer, 35-34, your score. And Alexia Barrows the layup for New Bedford, her first non-three-point basket of the game. Barrows comes with the basketball again for New Bedford. Tries to dish it over to a teammate, gets in the hands of Christian McDuffie for Brockton. Football pass to Chanel Melton. Puts it up, no good. And coming down the other end of the floor, out of bounds, it'll be off New Bedford, Brockton ball. Three point game, 37-34, New Bedford on top. Three minutes, 20 seconds left to go here in the third. Carissa Pagan will be checking into the game for the Lady Boxer. Chanel Melton will take a rest. And for New Bedford, Alexis DeBros into the game as Catherine Giad takes a breather. Fast paced and entertaining game here at Staff Gymnasium on this Tuesday evening. Jennifer Caruso with the ball for Brockton. Caruso over to Dominique Coley. Coley inside to Caruso, one bounce, puts it up, no good. And ultimately Caruso is going to end up with the ball again. To McDuffie, she'll reset her offense. 
Three-point game. She gets it over to Carissa Pagan. Pagan steps inside the perimeter, back out to Caruso. Caruso keeps it in bounds, but in doing so, puts it in the hands of Brianna Perry for New Bedford. She gets it over to Alexia Barrows for the Whalers. So foul going to be called on Brockton's Dominique Coley, and this is going to allow Vanessa Suarez to head to the line. And it looks like a Brockton player who is going to check in, I think it's Chanel Melton, was warned by the official for something. It is Chanel Melton. I'm not sure what she said. Pagan and Caruso take a breather as Melton checks in. Not sure who Melton checked in along with. 39-34, your score. She checked in with Sharon Springsteen. 39-34, your score, five-point game, New Bedford. Dominique Coley. Puts it up and in, three-point game again, 39-36. Suarez down low for New Bedford. 11 points tonight for Vanessa Suarez as her team leads by five, 41-36. And Chantel Jordan draws a Foul, as she'll head to the free throw line. Foul committed by number 15 for New Bedford, Alexis DeBrose. Jordan shooting 75% at the free throw line tonight. That percentage only going to go up. She's now four for five at the free throw line tonight, shooting 80%. Misses her second free throw attempt. 41-37, your score. Whalers once again with the lead. They've had the lead throughout. McDuffie with the ball for Brockton. Over to Melton. Three-pointer by Alexia Barros. 17 points tonight for Barros. Reminiscent of Dana Barros for the Boston Celtics back in the day. Three-point shooter for the C's in the 90s. 44-37, your score. Two-point shot by New Bedford's Brianna Perry. So nine-point lead now for New Bedford. 
as the third quarter comes to an end. 46 to 37, you score New Bedford Whalers on top, as close as Brockton has got to tying this game and taking the lead. They just haven't got there yet. 46 to 37 is your score. New Bedford on top. You're watching Brockton Community Access. Peter Zimbor here calling the action courtside. Big three divisional matchup. And eight minutes of basketball left to be played to decide who is going to win this game. New Bedford looking good in this game from the get-go, but Brockton has made it interesting. Brockton got as close as one point from tying this game in the third quarter. But as the third quarter ends, they trail by nine, 46 to 37. Foul call and Sharon Springsteed to begin the fourth quarter here for Brockton. Vanessa Suarez heading to the free throw line with her bright orange sneakers. She's two for four at the line tonight. We'll make that three for five. Suarez is two for two at the line on this trip. 48-37 to score. New Bedford leads by 11 points. Forty-eight thirty-seven to score. New Bedford on top. Seven twenty-six to go. Blocked by Dominique Coley, but she is going to get called for the foul while attempting that block. And this is once again going to send Vanessa Suarez to the free throw line. Suarez three for four shooting free throws here in the second half. Four for six total. But she's getting plenty of charity stripe opportunities. And connects, making that forty-nine thirty-seven. New Bedford, 12-point edge for the Lady Whalers. I've said this before in Brockton versus New Bedford games, I always appreciate both of these teams' nicknames. Now a 13-point edge for the Whalers, 50 to 37. Both teams with original nicknames that are unique to the place where they come from. Brockton being the Boxers, home of Rocky Marciano and Marvelous Marvin Hagler. New Bedford, the Whalers, which was once the whaling capital of the United States. Jumper by Chantel Jordan, no good. New Bedford now with the ball. 50 to 37, Whalers still on top. And they have much more of a security blanket now than they had in the third quarter. Make that a 15 point lead, 52 to 37, as Suarez puts it off the glass and in. Brockton with a lot to come back from now. And timeout is going to be called by 
Head coach April Dingwell for the Brockton Lady Boxers. Six minutes and 36 seconds left to go in the game. Your score, New Bedford 52. Brockton at 37. You're watching Brockton Community Access Sports. Peter Zimbor courtside. This is Brockton's second consecutive Big Three Divisional matchup. They lost to Durfee on Friday night at Durfee in Fall River. And they trail 52 to 37 to New Bedford tonight. Brockton, after tonight, will not play for another 13 days. They host Franklin on January 30th. And then they host Durfee at home. They play Durfee at Durfee Friday night. They'll be hosting Durfee on February the 3rd. So only four more home games left to go this season. After the Franklin and Durfee game, they take on Whittier on February 8th and Dartmouth on February 15th. Whittier, that's a new team to the Lady Boxer schedule. I have not seen them before. I don't even know where Whittier is or if it in fact is a place. Brockton, New Bedford will meet once again next month on Valentine's Day in New Bedford. Back to live action, Brockton inbounds the ball. Nice behind the back move by Chanel Melton, lays it in. 52-39, your score, New Bedford on top. Three-pointer by New Bedford, does not connect. Suarez with the rebound, puts it up, no good. Brockton with the rebound, it's Carissa Pagan coming down with the basketball. Rebound. Short jumper by Chanel Melton, having herself a good last minute or so. That makes it a nine-point game, 52-41, excuse me, an 11-point game, 52-41, New Bedford on top. Suarez in the paint for New Bedford, off the glass, no good, rebounded by Chanel Melton. She wants to win. I think she got away with a carry there. Goes for the layup, no good, rebounded by New Bedford. Nice defense exhibited by New Bedford. That was DeBrose. Barrows with the ball, goes to lay it up, no good. And we're gonna have a foul called on Chanel Melton for Brockton, and I think she got the worst of that. I think she got an elbow to the stomach. She's a little slow to get up. Sharon Springsteed gonna check into the game for Brockton as it looks like she'll be taking the place of Christian McDuffie, who will take a breather. 54 to 41, New Bedford is on top. 4-4-4 four, four, four left to go here in the game. DeBrose lays it in for New Bedford, 56-41. 4 
five left to go in the game. Barrows gets it over to Perry. Perry is going to get called for the travel. So 15-point game, Whalers, 56-41. Four minutes flat left to go here in the game at Staff Gymnasium. Three-point attempt by Jordan, and we're going to have a foul called on New Bedford's Alexis DeBrose, and because she fouled Jordan outside the perimeter, Chantel Jordan is going to get three free throw shots. Big opportunity here for Jordan to cut the deficit a bit. Makes her first. Uh, misses her second. 56-42, your score. New Bedford is on top. 338 left to go. And before Chantel Jordan can attempt her final three free throw shot in this series of three, timeout will be called by head coach Mickey Gonzalez for the New Bedford Lady Whalers. Three minutes and 38 seconds left to go in the game. 56 to 42, your score. New Bedford is on top. If New Bedford wins this game, which they're on pace to do, though, plenty of time left to go. 338, and basketball is a game of runs and momentum. But if indeed New Bedford is to win this game, they will begin their divisional schedule with a 1 0 record. But Brockton still. Still looking to spoil those plans for the New Bedford Whalers. And Jordan is able to make two of her three free throw shots. So 56 to 43 is your score. New Bedford with the lead. 338 to go in the game. Whalers looking to inbound the ball. Full court press being played by the Lady Boxers. Seven seconds left in the shot clock. Barrows is going to be fouled by Jordan as she heads to the hole. So Alexia Barrows going to the free throw line for the first time tonight. She has 17 points in the evening, but has not been to the free throw line just yet. And no surprise, she makes her first of two. She's an excellent shooter. Barrow's one of the best pure shooters I've seen 
for high school women's basketball all season calling games here on Brockton Community Access. And just as I say that, he misses her second of two at the free throw line. New Bedford with the rebound, however. Suarez down low, 59-43 New Bedford. Suarez with 19 points on the evening. Vanessa Suarez having an excellent game for the New Bedford Whalers and we're gonna see some first appearance players for New Bedford as number 11, Kelly Gomes and number 20, Andrea Monas check into the game as some of the starters for New Bedford are going to take a well-earned rest as they have a commanding 59 to 43 lead. Two minutes and 11 seconds left to go as I believe we have a timeout called by New Bedford. So two minutes and 11 seconds left to go. 59-43 New Bedford on top. Less than two minutes to go in the game now. Brockton with the ball. McDuffie takes it to the hole, no good. Rebounded by New Bedford. It's Perry coming down with the basketball. Alexia Barros bringing the ball down the floor. Over to Perry, minute 35 to go in the game. Jump ball called to Chanel Melton gets tied up with Andrea Monis from New Bedford for the ball and possession arrow points in favor of Brock and a buck 25 remaining. Pagan takes a breather as Jennifer Crusoe comes back into the game for Brockton. Catherine Lewis at the free throw line. And Lewis makes her second free throw attempt. 59 to 44 now your score. New Bedford with the lead.
Chase lays it in for New Bedford. So New Bedford now on top, 61 to 44. 43 seconds left to go in this game. And certainly now Brockton is gonna fall to 0-2 in big three divisional play while New Bedford will begin their divisional season at 1-0. Nice block by Chanel Melton deflecting the basketball out of bounds. 33.8 seconds to go now as Catherine Guillot comes into the game as Alexia Barrows takes a well-deserved breather. That's the last we'll see of Barrows tonight. Finishes off the night with 18 points. Phenomenal game by Alexia Barrows. Curry picks the ball off for New Bedford. 10 seconds to go, and New Bedford probably just going to have to hang on to the ball. Jennifer Crusoe still wants to play defense, but New Bedford doesn't really have to do much at this point as Moniz lays it in, and the game is over. The New Bedford Whalers defeat the Brockton Boxers by a score of 63-44. to 44. Brockton was competitive in spurts in that game. However, they were inconsistent. New Bedford gets the job done in impressive fashion. A 19-point win, 63-44. to 44. New Bedford begins their Big 3 season at 1-0. Brockton falls to 0-2 in Big 3 divisional play. Overall, Brockton's record now stands at 1-8. New Bedford's at 9-2. For everyone here at BCA Sports, I am Peter Zimbor. Your final score once again, New Bedford 63, Brockton 44. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us.